Well, call what's going down on the border a crisis, a disgrace, call it national security threat, or all of the above. The unprecedented flood of illegal immigrants across our southern border continues unabated tonight, and we're taking a closer look at one of the reasons why. We have an exclusive interview with a man sworn to protect this country, the United States, who now stands accused of smuggling illegal immigrants in exchange for quick cash. He is an Army reservist who told News Nation's Ali Bradley that hard financial times led him to do something he never thought he would do, succumb to the seductions of a Mexican drug cartel member. And guess what? He's not the first Army soldier to do so. News Nation border correspondent Ali Bradley is live in El Paso, Texas, after speaking exclusively to the former U.S. service member uh, about how he was recruited. Hey, Ali. Yeah, hey, Elizabeth. So these individuals are being recruited for this life-changing mission. No, it's not a military recruiter at a community event or a mall. It's a friend or a colleague promising you quick, easy money. And just like that, life changes. Tell me that you made like a quick, you know, four or five grand in the weekend. 23-year-old Brandon Broadhead says he joined the military to help pay for school after struggling with his studies during COVID. I was like, you know, I've always heard that the you know, military, the army will pay for your tuition. So I enlisted. He says he had good intentions when he took an oath to protect and serve, inspired in part by his grandma. She always told me growing up that, um, you know, join. Join, you know, she, she always told me, if you're join, you know, whatever, but join something. But then a friend connected him with a low-level cartel member who promised him five grand in cash if he smuggled migrants who had crossed the southern border into Texas. He says his mom was sick and unable to work, so he said yes. Broadhead headed down to Eagle Pass from Austin, where he picked up two migrants from Mexico, a female and a male who said they were cousins. He made it up to rural Kinney County, but was surprised by a pop-up tactical border patrol checkpoint. He turned around, which alerted law enforcement. I don't realize I'm like, I have a really good life, and I'm kind of done right away. I have a really great life and blessed life, and I'm kind of made a huge mistake. Anybody could be lured into this. I mean, they're, they're talking big money, plus they're away from home, plus God only knows what their bills are. They're being lured into this on the promise of big money. It's a similar story to the other Army soldier, arrested at the same pop-up checkpoint. Texas Guard soldier Savion Johnson tried to outrun law enforcement before his vehicle was spiked and stopped, and he was pulled from that vehicle and arrested. I think it's more widespread than anybody wants to, to believe. I mean, we've had law enforcement get involved in biker gangs, you know, on the side. They end up getting ratted out. And now we've got the military involved in some of this stuff. It's just a matter of time before we catch somebody else. I'm on your back. Now, Elizabeth, we did hear from the Army Reserve. They say that they are aware of this arrest. They are monitoring the situation. But, of course, everyone is innocent until proven guilty. Now, I want to add here that Brandon told me that he was okay sharing his story and okay talking with us here, Elizabeth, because he hopes that his story will prevent other young people from getting involved with these criminal organizations. Yeah, let's hope so, Ali. It's a very chilling thing to hear that sheriff say it's more widespread than anybody actually knows. Ali Bradley reporting live from El Paso, Texas. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks so much for watching. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.